This video is sponsored by the STEM Merch Store. All right, do you have the controller? Right here. I said I wanted pink. Always bring a spare. That's why you're lead engineer. Now, going over some of the specs, what is the pressure gonna be down there? Force over area. So same as up here, same as up here. And up here it's like, nothing. I don't feel any pressure. Not since my wife left me. <laughs> I'm really sad. Okay, next. Is the material strong enough? It echoes. It only echoes if it's strong. Styrofoam don't echo. It's simple physics. Now, super important. Does it have the blinky thing that goes like bloop, 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 bloop? Of course. Yes. Just like the movies. That's where we got it from. Okay, now explain the controller to me. Okay, first, to steer, you just use the joystick. Easy enough. Then if you press B, you'll suck water into the tank. Make the sub sink. Press A after that. Water goes out. Got it. Now, if you press A on its own, you throw a punch, right? Right. You see a shark coming, something you don't like. Just press A, bam, sub takes it out. Simple enough. Now, maybe it's a bigger shark. Then just press A twice and <clears throat> left, right combo. Left, right combo. If you press left or right and A, then Spinning kick. Oh, that's good. Now, if you see something that you don't want to fight, maybe it's coming at you. So long as the sub isn't on the ground, just press L or R and you'll oh, do a dodge. Like, oh, can't touch this. But here's where it gets confusing. Let's say on your way to the Titanic, you see some buried treasure. Maybe Jack's still alive. Well, what you need to do is go up to him and press A. That's how you pick up an item. But isn't that also how you That's punch? how you punch. Yeah, exactly. So you want to make sure that you're close enough so it knows. If you see Jack on the door or whatever and you want to go pick him up, just get really close to him, then press A. If you're not close enough, you might accidentally punch him. Oh, and that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. So you want to make sure you're close enough before picking up the eye. I think I got it. Best of luck. I'll be on the mic if you need me. A few minutes later. No, I got this. I got this. Press down. I'm pressing down. We'll press B at the same time. If I press B at the same time, then we'll ground pound and we'll sink to the bottom too fast. But if you counter it with a jump at the end, we'll do an air float and gently land. Air float doesn't work after a ground pound because we turn to stone. But you can cancel it while still in the air. No, but we don't know how far we have until we hit the ground. Why don't you just use a dodge move? Because you can't dodge the ground. Well, once we get to the ground, we can use our shield instead of dodge. But what if the shield breaks? If the shield breaks, I'll be stunned for like five seconds. Would you just let me? Has this ever happened to you? You think you know everything because you're an engineer, but turns out your Nintendo Switch controller doesn't even work with your underwater doghouse like you thought it would? You're not alone. But the good news is that next time it happens, you can do it in style by shopping the STEM merch store. Haha, <laughs> still got something. On the STEM merch store, you can get the I double dot shirt you saw in this video, or why be right when you can approximate. There's the awesome floating globe, and plenty more. This is a little side project I have, so any purchases do go to directly helping the channel. Link to that is below, and okay, now I'm done, bye.